Hello, it's Randy. Last week I talked about fearful avoidance, which is a relationship style that I had with myself in dealing with a traumatic experience and all the issues that were tied to it. This week I would like to talk about fear in general and how it can affect our lives. Fear is a feeling that leads to other feelings. Feelings of lack, frustration, anger, hatred, and racism. These feelings can lead to arguments and acts of violence, if not dealt with or addressed in a healthy way. Fear takes many forms and feelings such as jealousy and feelings of inadequacy, such as not feeling pretty enough, handsome enough, skinny enough, physically fit enough, sexy enough, tall enough, wealthy enough, or intelligent enough leading to feelings of rejection, abandonment, causing shyness, and feelings of failure and low self-esteem. These feelings can lead us to depression and feeling like a failure in life because of not living up to the standards that are placed upon and embedded on us by our society and culture, which are considered to be the cultural norms, and not seeing us or accepting us for who we are and what we have been through in our lives. The fear of not being accepted by society for who we are can cause you to not be true to yourself and who you are, causing further internal conflict and health issues, and for some it can lead to suicide if not addressed. Fear also increases the amount of cortisol in our bodies, so the more fear and feelings of fear that we hold on to, the more cortisol is released into our bodies, leading to decreased sleep and poor health. I have been able to address these fears and feelings of fear through the help of amazing friends, family, counseling, trauma counseling, cognitive therapy, and through meditation, along with I can, what I consider to be the most important of all, which is truly getting to know and love myself with all my perceived flaws and faults and being true to who I am and not how others have seen me or how they have labeled me which at times can be hard to accomplish due to past experiences. But the outcome of knowing and loving yourself for who you are with all those perceived flaws and faults is well worth the journey. This is the best gift you can give to yourself. A question, if there wasn't anyone to tell you that you had flaws or were inadequate in any way, would you know that you were lacking in any way? And would you still experience those fears and feelings of fears in your life? Thank you for taking the time to listen and watch this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at randy.nz at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great day.